Hello again, this is Beth Holtzman with the University of Vermont Extension New Farmer Project. This session is part of our Building Your Networks video series. The series is designed to introduce you to resources that can help you launch and grow successful farm businesses. We'll also share tips to building productive relationships with lenders, insurers, and USDA agency staff. The series is a collaboration of the New Farmer Project and the University of Vermont Agricultural Risk Management Program. It's made possible by funding from the Northeast Extension Risk Management Education Center. Um, we're here today to talk about the pathway to NRCS financial and technical assistance for Vermont's new and beginning farmers. Our presenters today are Jimmy Young and Sarah LaRose, both from the USDA Vermont NRCS staff. Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy Young. I am a soil conservationist out of the NRCS St. Albans Field Office and I've been with the agency for a year and a half. Hi, I'm Sarah LaRose, soil conservationist with the Natural Resources Conservation Service in the Northwest Zone located in St. Albans, Vermont. Our zone services Franklin, Grand Isle and Lamoille counties. Welcome. And RCS provides technical and financial assistance to farmers, including new farmers, who address natural resource concerns. USDA considers anyone who has operated at a farm or ranch for less than 10 consecutive years to be a beginning farmer or rancher. Visit the USDA New Farmers website at newfarmers.usda.gov to learn more. The five steps for assistance are one, planning, two, application, three, eligibility, four, ranking, and five, implementation. This might seem like a lot. Don't worry. Your soil conservationist will assist you with each step. Here is essentially a roadmap to getting started with your local USDA service center. One, make an appointment. Two, Prepare by getting documents together that may be needed. An example, lease agreements, bank information, property maps, business plan, forest management plan, et cetera. Three, what are some short-term versus long-term conservation goals for your land? Four, verify eligibility. Five, file your program's application. Six, sign up for Gov delivery emails to stay in the loop about program sign-up deadlines. You can do this by visiting www.vt.nrcs.usda.gov website and click Gov Delivery icon to subscribe. Seven, keep in touch. You will be designated a planner to work with, so keeping in touch with them is important. And finally, the fact sheet featured on the slide is available for download on the UVM New Farmer website. EQIP can potentially help to cover the cost of adopting conservation practices, such as cover crops and high tunnels. Each state is required to set aside a certain percentage of the total EQIP funding provided to the state specifically for beginning farmers. We call this the beginning farmer pool. The organic initiative funding pool is another potential pool for beginning farmers to explore. Farms that are certified organic or who are transitioning to organic are potentially, potentially eligible for this pool. If a contract is awarded to a beginning farmer, they're eligible to receive what is called an advanced payment. Advanced payments provide up to 50% of the planned practice cost for materials. It is required to expend the funds within 90 days of receipt. One thing to note, you need to have a project in mind that addresses a resource concern, something related to soil, water, air, quality, or animal health and husbandry, in order to be eligible for the potential EQIP funds. When you apply for EQIP, you're applying to establish a conservation plan in which you receive technical and potential financial assistance to implement specific farm conservation practices. Practices are outlined in conservation practice, practice standards Every state NRCS office releases each year. The main focus of this agency is providing free conservation technical assistance, CTA, to provide landowners and farm operations. 
Typically, a landowner will reach out to us saying they are interested in seeking technical and financial assistance for conservation on their land. A soil conservationist assigned to them will go out to their land, walk the property with the landowner, discuss short-term versus long-term conservation goals, discuss problematic areas on the land, and do a full resource inventory, which could take a few site visits. But the initial meeting is to get the understanding of what exactly they are looking to get done, how it fits in our scope of work, and how we can provide them with a detailed conservation plan to improve the resources on their operation. Another popular program for new farmers is AMA, or Agricultural Management Assistance Program. NRCS administ administers the AMA conservation provisions while the Agricultural Marketing Service and the Risk Management Agency implement other provisions under AMA. In 2021, Vermont's AMA priorities included high tunnels and irrigation practices. Eligible land includes agricultural land, non-industrial private forest land, or other land on which agri agricultural products, livestock, or forest-related products are produced and where risk may be mitigated by diversifying the operation or adding conservation practices that support soil erosion control, integrated pest management, and organic farming. We realize that there are challenges for new and beginning farmers, such as not having all your goals clearly defined or set, short-term versus long-term. We have flexibility in understanding operational changes that could occur as the planning steps are worked through. Taking on a potentially large contract can be difficult. For instance, implementing and transitioning to a grazing system, implementation of livestock pipeline, prescribed grazing, water facilities, animal trails, et cetera, or farmstead improvements that are typically costly. We suggest focusing on an immediate resource concern need, potentially signing into a smaller contract to start to get a better understanding of how NRCS works and how NRCS may provide continued assistance in the future. Thank you, Jimmy and Sarah, for all the information and for your insights into how USDA NRCS helps beginning farmers protect natural resources and reduce risks. You can find more information about risk management at the UVM Ag Risk Management and Crop Insurance website. Thanks so much for watching.